What would happen if you turned out the sun? What? Everyone would die. No, 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 stupid. It would just get dark out. No, obviously, but that, no. I'm going to trap myself in the dark for the next 50 hours, starting now. All right, so you might be wondering, why am I doing this? And the only answer I have for you is, I don't really know why. Right now, I am in a pitch dark room. No light is coming in. All the windows have trash bags on them. We even sealed the door, so no light comes in. And I am by myself, no cell phone, and no contact with the outside world for the foreseeable future. I'm gonna try to do 24 to maybe 50 hours in here alone, because according to the internet, it can help you find yourself and you know have like a spiritual awakening. Because apparently, when you're in the dark for a long time at night, uh, you start to see things, right? Like you might see like a little goblin right there. You might see like a, uh, I don't know, like a dragon with a third eye and he'll like look into your soul. I've only been in here for a few minutes. I already feel like I'm kind of going nuts. I feel like we should start off with a room tour maybe. Maybe. So just want to clarify real quick that um, this is what you can see and this is what I see um, So a little bit of a room tour. Hopefully you can see this. I can't see very well, but um over there in this area is where I'll be sleeping for the next two days. Over there, the other camera somewhere. Here's some changes of clothes that I have. Back here is a closet. It's also pitch dark in here Yep, that is Oh my, I will have to pee at some point. There is a bathroom where you can't see over there, which I will have to go to. That's the whole room. This is me by myself, trapped. I'm not really sure what to do. So if you guys want to like work out with me, I guess I'll do that for a little while. I can't tell if it's creepy or if it's peaceful here. Oh, okay. Is this what people do? How do you keep yourself entertained in the dark? Oh. <laughs> the one benefit I do have, I feel like in this whole YouTube game, is I pretty regularly just talk to myself in real life all the time, even without cameras around. So this is this feels pretty just right at home for me. Uh, I've been here for what I would like to guess is three or four hours, but again, when none of your senses are working. Supposedly, uh, that might not be true. It, it's just, it's really embarrassing a lot of time, but I feel like a squirrel. And you go like this. Oh God. And then I look at my plate, and I look at the person, and the menu, and then this, and then this, and then this. Oh God, I'm going to poach. Ow, okay, ow, ow. And sometimes when I'm too mobile, one, like a poot just slips out, it's like, you know. Just, just go up. Just be comfortable. No, ow, God. I'm a gassy dude and I can't help it. So, what have I been talking about this whole time? So I wanna tell you all the reason I'm actually afraid of the dark, and I was terrified, terrified, terrified of the dark. Like, God, I don't know if this is too scary to talk about too. Like, I'm not trying to freak anybody out. So when I was really young, I could never sleep well. My parents would tell me to go to bed around 9 p.m., and this is when I was like six, seven, all the way through when I was like 12, 14, for years. I had the biggest irrational fear of not a monster under the bed. Nope, not someone coming through my door. But I was always so terrified that there was gonna be someone watching me through my window at night, staring at me. And they would just, I would do this. You couldn't see me, right? I would hide behind this pillow fort every night because for some reason, when I was like six years old, my grandpa decided to tell the scariest story I have ever heard in my life. He told this scary story to me, a six year old, just me and him, no one else, about how there was someone living in the walls and the person would move around in between their walls and they would watch them through like the little cracks in the corners. So that scarred me for life. Now as a fully grown adult, for some reason, I'm facing that fear for the first time. Uh, all right, that was that, um, talking about that freaked me out. So I'm gonna meditate for a little while. How you're supposed to sit when you do this? I don't do this. This is not like part of my personality. I'm not a meditating guy. Oh god, I'm just gonna take it now. I don't know how to meditate the right way.
Yo, what was that? It sounds like there's something knocking on my window, which is super uncool. This is what you, this is what you all want. This is the kind of content you're here for. You want Ryan to go crazy. What is that noise? Okay, I don't like this. I'm just, I'm going to sleep. I'm gonna just hide in, I'm hiding in bed. I'm going to sleep now. I'm not doing this. I don't know what time it is, but I'm going back to bed. I'm going to sleep. I'm good. There's literally no way that I've been in here for more than six, seven hours now. It's not that long, but I don't understand how people supposedly do this for five days straight. I don't get it. I don't understand how people do it. I don't think it's possible because... Bro, what is that noise? I'm just gonna try to sleep for a few hours. When I wake up, it'll be done, okay? So uh, I'm all calmed down now, it took a few minutes, but Ethan and Nathan were messing with me and they decided apparently that <laughs> it would not be a very interesting video if it was just me locked in the room by myself. So they came over and uh, I guess you have a challenge for me. Oh, we do. You have to make some pancakes. Why? Because you're staying in the darkness for 50 hours, so if you're gonna be in the darkness that long and can't see, then your other senses are heightened. So you think that I can just cook really well? I think that you'll be able to do things better than you could before. I, ah! <laughs> I hate this. Wait, who is that? Is that Nathan? Okay, 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 okay. All right, so I'm gonna do the stupid little chat. <laughs> oh my God, who is this? Is that Stove? <laughs> that was Stove for sure. Right? All right, all right. I'm gonna do their stupid challenge because apparently your your other senses are heightened. Who wants pancakes? You want pancakes? I want pancakes. All right. Make them for stove. No, I'm not gonna tell you how to make it. Okay. But show me where everything I'll is. I'll show you where everything is. All right. Pancake, milk, syrup, eggs. Okay. Bowl. Bowl. And your measuring cup. Can you put those? Okay. Great. <laughs> All right. Timer starts. What do you mean? What do you mean timer? We have ten minutes. I'm assuming I need some quantity of pancakes. These are the measuring cups. Doesn't feel like enough. <laughs> Is that a cup? Oh my god. Why is none of it going in the cup? Did some go in? Not having your ability to see is wild. Well wait, I need like a mixing spoon. Can you give me like a mixing utensil? Don't be don't be whiskey. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna air bowl this one. That's too much milk. Is it? Ah! Was that actually too much milk? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm trying to remember how many eggs you put in the brownies. One egg for brownies? Yep. Okay, I'll just do one egg then. I'll allow it. Where's the... Oh, shit. That is the wrong consistency. Well, there's more flour. Is more. there? That really feels like it didn't go in. <laughs> This can't be right. It just went from being a complete liquid to a complete solid. Oh, bro, no. I actually know that's pretty good. That feels like how a pancake mix should feel. Oh, God, are you kidding me right now? How'd I do? <laughs> you did it. A little bit to your left. Yeah. Step down right now. I'm going forward a little bit. Out to the right a little bit. A little more right. Right there. Okay, can I have a spatula, please? Where is it? Is there heat? I can't feel any heat. Oh, I didn't grease the pan! Good thing I know my way around the kitchen or else this could have been a lot worse. Should I flip it? How's it going? <laughs> I don't know. Great. Is it actually? Yeah. Do you mean that? I would eat that all day. Well, that's the thing is that we need you to we need someone to taste test it. It feels way stickier than it should right now. <laughs> Hey, oh, you just did. Nathan, try a bite of this. No. Yeah, come on. I don't want to. Do you were slamming on my window. Try it. I was doing anything. Is it really that bad? Is it not cooked? I know that you flip pancakes over a lot, so I'm just gonna keep. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. This is. This is rough. That sounds solid. I mean, yeah, it is in some ways solid. All right, Stove, I want to honor you with the first bite. <laughs> All right, I don't need a fork for this. What do you mean you don't need a fork for it? That stove. It sounds like you ate a pretzel. That was actually pretty good. What's I give that like a eight out of 10. You don't mean that. Actually, everything else is non-edible, I don't think. Yeah, I did it! I guess so. 
<sighs> Alright, so the guy said it's around 7, 7.30 in the morning, which means I've officially been in the dark for about 13 hours. Uh, apparently, we're on the way to the next challenge, though. Can I get a hint or something? Um, is your time to get behind the wheel. Are you kidding? Are you joking? Not I can't. At all. I'm not gonna drive this car right now. Yes, you are. Why? Because I said so. I can't drive this car on the road. All right, then your video is gonna be boring. Here are your keys. Okay. Today, Ethan and I have created a driving course for you. That doesn't sound safe at all. And you have to complete it. Okay. Or else. Or else what? You're getting the worst wedgie of your life. <laughs> bro, bro. This doesn't seem safe, um, and I don't, <laughs> don't know if I should be doing this. This is your ultimate test, Ryan. If you've been in the dark and haven't been able to see for X amount of time, yeah. then theoretically, your other senses should heighten. I don't ever drive my car without people wearing their seatbelts. Okay, good. All right, now this is where you start turning right. How far? How much right? More. How many degrees? Uh, 32. More right, more right, more right, more right. A little more right. Now straighten out. Go left, Ryan! Go left. Ryan, go left! Left! Oh, no, 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 no! Left, 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 Dude! I'm going left. It told you to keep off the grass. I can't see! What are you talking about? It said keep off the grass and you just ran onto the grass. And you just ran over all the signs. You're yelling at me and it's making me feel bad. Hey, uh, future Ryan here. Well, I'm losing it over there. Let me tell you about today's video sponsor, Raycon. Raycon earbuds have great sound quality and passive noise isolation, so it blocks out background noises. It's just you and your music. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Honestly, I kind of wish I had these things in right now so I wouldn't have to listen to those two argue with each other. Bro, bro, right there, I literally thought I was completely stopped and I wasn't. I swear to you, I thought I wasn't moving and I was. <laughs> Their durability is impressive. They resist both water and sweat, which is perfect because I um, sweat way too much. The hardest left that's possible. Just, this is the turn race. Oh, that's great. That's great. Actually, all right, straighten out. Straight. I also really like to use my Raycon while I'm working out, doing the dishes, cleaning up around the house, or while my friends are all yelling at me. Hello? Can you not hear me, dude? Hello? I've got three favorite parts about Raycon earbuds. Number one is their eight hour battery life so I can listen to music all day. Number two is their intelligent design which has been engineered to seamlessly fit in any ear shape. And I have really small ears that I'm kind of embarrassed about so that's great for me. Aww. And third, Raycons are super affordable, being about half the price of normal wireless earbuds. You can get yourself a pair and a spare and you'll still be spending less than you would on some of those other big name tech brands out there. Bro, I am getting, I am getting unbelievably car sick right now. Click the link in my description or go to buyraycon.com slash ryanfronti to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Hmm. These are really comfortable. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this video and I'm gonna get back to what's going on over there. See ya. All right, now just go straight. Okay, stop, stop, stop. You're not going straight. I said go straight. I am. Your wheels turn. I don't know. I can't see anything, Nathan. How would I know? Because you can feel it. All right, right. More right, 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 more right. Shut up, Nathan. Now go straight. All right, keep going straight. Now go left. Now go left. I mean right. I mean right. Stop, stop, stop. I hate you so much. I hate you so <laughs> Why are you making me do this? I could have just stayed in my room this whole time and been fine. All right, I almost at the finish line. <laughs> You're about a third of the way left. Le d left. Left, yes. Go turn left? No. Don't turn left. No. What's behind me? It's nothing. You ran over a Lego. Yeah, but it's destroying the bottom of my car. No, it's the, it's the sound of the Lego. I'm pretty sure. All right, the driving test, not awesome, but uh, now we're gonna hang out, see some friends. Sounds like someone just got here. Where are you? Okay, thanks, get me inside. Thank you. Oh, please just don't let me hit anything on the way in. Oh gosh, I'm trying to see if I can remember my way around. Take your shoes off, shoes off when we're inside. Watch out, don't, what is this? Plant. I feel like this is where the little window is for the oh, kitchen. Oh. Ethan, give me your hand. I'm right here. Give me your hand. I can. I'm holding the camera. Ethan. Ethan, get in between what? me and them. I'm not. I don't Ethan. know. Don't shrug me off like that. It's not my job. Wait, Ryan. No, don't. You're, you're the wrong way. No, I'm not. It's there this. Ow! That's the fridge. That's the fridge. Wait, actually. You made it really hard. It's fast. Oh, What was that? <laughs> that was so was, that, was that Andrew? <laughs> oh my god. What's that? A column? What yeah. are you guys doing? Ryan, you have to be doing this like in the house right now. I don't know. Doing what? 
we work right there. Can you just like do it any, we, there's a hundred acres, you can do this anywhere. You choose to do it right next to me. I don't know where I am. Can you guys just like gravitate somewhere else? This At way? At least to the other side of the house. Which way is the other side? be that way. <laughs> and you're, yeah, just get, just, I, I can't have you guys scream like that. Why is he so mad at us? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here because I couldn't see the look on Carter's face, but he did not seem happy. So we're gonna go get some shopping done, I think. Right, Nathan? Yeah, let's go do some shopping. All right, let's go. I, I knew I shouldn't have come here with you. Yes, we are. All right, turn left. There you go. Why did you let go of me? What the, you almost hit a guy. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, man, I had surgery. <laughs> you almost just slapped it on the, on the belly. Like, sorry, surgery. Because I can't see. All right, so we are looking for food, looking for snacks, and I don't really know what time of day it is anymore. Well, we're at Walmart, so neither do we. Hold that. Tell me what this is. <laughs> yeah, throw yeah. it No, please don't, please don't. It. Is this someone throwing something at you? What is happening, bro? I'm just fancy shooting. Who's doing this? It's not far, but we're just fancy Oh, thank you. No, that's totally allowed. So close. So now you actually did. How would you like your receipt? Uh, plastic. Text, but. That's a bad. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Um. So I just got back after hanging out with the guys all day. They just dropped me back off. It is probably four or five p.m. I still haven't slept, so I'm gonna get some sleep. And uh, yeah, I will uh, see you in the morning. But I'm not sure how much more I can do of this. And uh, thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Good night.